that too. Can I turn that volume all the way down? So, oh. Hello. Hello, everybody. So listen, today, the ladies of Wine and Wisdom, I'm sorry, Crystal, did you get a chance to even say hi? I was just saying, hey, y'all, hey. <laughs> sorry, I went straight into it. So we do not own the rights to this music, um, but we just needed some some chill vibes um, to come to you. So today is January 28th. We are just getting together. It's just to taste a few bottles of, well, just probably this one bottle of wine. That's probably about all we can stand for the moment. Um, and so... We won't even prolong this. Let me see what we have today. So it is a Shiraz, of course. And um, let's see. It's a Martin's pickup. That's who it's by. I don't even have my glasses on my, my own. Nothing in my eyes. So Martin's pickup. It's a Shiraz. It's 13.5%. What we like. Right, like alcohol. It is. <laughs> And um, let me see if I can tell you anything else about it. We will probably, so let me tell you, it says a dark chocolate and a cherry finish. Ooh. So this smooth Shiraz is filled with generous fruit flavors, richness and complemented by supple tannins with a dark chocolate and cherry finish. The aroma is a vibrant mix of dark cherries, blueberries with hints of violets and white pepper. Sounds good enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Y'all know how I'm typically funny. I think I mentioned this on another broadcast um, that I typically like a, a cork, but I found that there are certain bottles of wine mm -hmm. that are better twist top than with a cork. So you learn something new as your taste buds go. So this is a twist top. It hasn't been chilled. Um, so we're going to do this one. It's probably not quite room temperature because... It was outside, but it's not. So, but now it's been inside. <laughs> it's been inside for a minute. So, when I'm feeling the bottle, it's, it's definitely not considered chilled or anything. I know that in most cases, people will say that all red wines must be warm, room temperature. Not true. Um, there are some bottles that you actually want to put a slight chill on them. So, you guys I'm gonna do restaurant pours, y'all. <laughs> Not a real pour. Not a real pour. We'll do a real pour off camera. <laughs> I think regarding the temperature, it's really, um, I know they have the proper way to drink your wine in terms of temperature, but you know, to whatever is everybody's, you know, suits, um, I like all my wines going. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big ice. wine temperature, and I love to put white um, ice in my wine, so don't judge me. No, I right. love it. <laughs> because typically, though, what we need to say is Nicole typically was not a wine drinker at all. Mm -mm. Uh, I was a wine drinker, but not to, their de not to that, their definition. Correct. Right. <laughs> so um, then, yeah, I think it is a personal preference, though, because some yeah. people like their reds Absolutely. like just as crisp and chill. Mm -hmm. As a it white, is, it is a preference, and I like um, as I evolve, I'm starting to like my wine and decanters. Oh, I love like, a good decanter. Is it an aerator? The aerator. Mm -hmm. and, oh, my goodness! I was mm -hmm. like, oh, look at me being a big girl. <laughs> I like all of that. Let me tell you, I love me a good decanter, I love my wine fresh and opened up. Um, I think when, most of the time it comes to like etiquette, though. Mm -hmm. Like, so when you go to a restaurant, they're gonna serve it according to proper wine etiquette. But when you at home, listen, you do, you do what you do, what you do, do whatever you want. Because we'll put some vodka or whatever mm -hmm. in wine and drink that too. Yeah, <laughs> drink that too. Yeah. So uh, let's see what we got here. I'm going to let y'all go for Oh, man. what is you doing? Girl, um, waste the wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh so, cheers, ladies. Cheers. Toast to afternoon day drinking. Yeah, <laughs> that part. <laughs> let's see. It's good. What do you think, Nicole? Look, Nicole. It is good. It is good. Um, for those who don't like really dry wines, a little trick is to throw a dash of ginger, ginger ale in it, and it'd be a perfect mix. Or Sprite. Uh, like or, or Sprite. Yeah. I prefer ginger ale. Um, but this is good. It is I can good. rock with this. 
It's good. If you wanted to make it seem Put some real, ice in here, it'd be even better. Oh, gosh. <laughs> triple set. Triple set it up with some Sprite, with some vodka. That's, that's a good thing. Bria right there. But Ooh. this is good just like this. I, I'm going to tell you, I'm a fan. Y'all already know. I think we've been to Shiraz. I it's love good Shiraz. This thing gets your life right. Right. Now, the, the alcohol <laughs> content is on point. Okay. It is. It's alcohol. Really really oh, that's good. Look, now this is right. I got this from Total Wine, you all. So this is one of the pickups that I got from Total Wine. Total Wine typically does not disappoint that. No, they have um, a good variety of wines. Right. And their prices are decent. Yeah. They're very decent. Mm -hmm. They are not out of control. Um, I'm trying to figure out do I feel the, the dark cherry and, 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 and dark chocolate finish? I, I'm I trying to fig I figure that part out. I do. So let me tell you. I, feel, no, it's it's about I don't taste the chocolate, but I, I don't not the chocolate finish, but I definitely taste the berries. The, the berries. The yeah, the cherry. Mm -hmm. And the fruit. That dark chocolate is what's going to give it that dry finish. Really? Mm -hmm. So when it dries out, you know, like when it's the remnants on the back of the tongue. Oh, I'm in love with the cocoa. <laughs> 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 yeah, you you might got to be take, careful. Yeah, no, we just we reference it to the chocolate here, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all know chocolate come from the cocoa. Cocoa, right? Like right. that was our the only Gosh, is wheelhouse I'm in. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold this bottle up again. Hopefully, you all can see it. Um, um, but if not, we'll post it too. Because this is great. It was at the Total Wine. Yeah. It's called the, um, the Original Martin's Pickup. And it's the Shiraz. And I, I want to say maybe it was $13.99. I think that's how yeah, much it was. It was like $13.99. So you know what I would eat this with? I would Ooh. do a salmon. I could do a steak. I could do a shrimp salad with this. This is a pasta. nice, yes, pasta, 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 pasta with a white is, sauce. This is a dinner wine. For sure. This is a dinner, like, all you need is two glasses, and you be right. Mm -hmm. okay. At dinner. At, no, you know, at dinner. Mm -hmm. At dinner. Two glasses. That bottle be done by bed. The bottle be done. Okay, <laughs> let's be clear. Be done by bed. Uh-uh. Because <laughs> this, this is. It goes down so easy. It easy it and is, for Nicole, who's really not a red dry a dry wine drinker, and for she just tossing it back. I think that's good for folks <laughs> to know who aren't really you know yeah, who are who are wine drinkers and and it's, maybe like sweet and it's safe to say like her palate's evolving. But that's what you do. You start is that off like for the day. Yes. Okay. That's and what you said it like times This is like at least your eight <laughs> time. I know, right? Okay. Because because I'm not bougie. I'm just evolving like. My bread, my bed sheets are like twenty five hundred bread count. Now let me like, tell you, <laughs> I'm just like I, that's not being bougie. It's just I'm evolving. I'm glad you're saying that now. See, mm. because when it was just me, <laughs> when it was just me who liked the high thread counts, it was oh that's bougie. <laughs> yeah. But then when people evolve, <laughs> yeah, they matter. Yeah, matter. Don't they the matter? Oh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, this wine good. Mm -hmm. You know the other thing about a red wine, though, that I'm always careful about? What? I had to learn how to drink it differently because I hate when it turns my lips red. Oh, yeah. I be having wine lips and never all the time. Me. But you always have a red lipstick. Yeah. I always have a red lipstick. But oh, okay. just, and a lip stain. So I don't think it'll do that to you. I posted a picture for my birthday. I'm like, Dang, this I got some wine stained lips, but I mean, it is what it is. So, right, it'll tell on you real fast. It will. So, oh, this is so good. This will be good with so good one. Crab, too. Actually, it was good with Nicole just ate. Mm. What you think? Fried pork chop and rice and beans. <laughs> Absolutely, it was right. good. That was good. Listen, it went well with my crab mm. bites. Mm. Uh, yes, and you that know, was really good. I'm gonna stop doing as many shout outs until people are sponsoring us or whatever. So I'm not even gonna tell you where we ate from. Yeah, we, mm -mm. we but, not doing um, that. But I'll tell you what I had. I had me some crab bites and I had me some mozzarella sticks. 
Crystal has some wings that look like Crystal has some they, wings. I'm gonna let her test. <laughs> I don't do light skin wings. Like when I ask for wings, I always ask them to fry them hard. And so these wasn't as fried as hard as I as I particularly like, but they, it was fine. I had my taste. Yeah, how did they taste like? It was okay. It was like it tastes like bar food. They needed to season them like they seasoned those pork chops. Yeah, now, <laughs> now, if they did that part right there, that would have been a whole different conversation because yeah. that was seasoned to perfection. Now, yeah, I didn't eat them, but they were beautiful. Like the presentation of the pork chops they had, they were beautiful. Now, I tried the red beans and rice or the the beans and rice, and uh, they were good. They were really good. So, mm -hmm. so we doing a second glass or what are we doing? I would love to eat them for a second. Sure. I would love to get ice cream. I meant to keep it for my mom. Oh, you know what? It's ice. Um, we can get ice. And two glasses, two restaurant pours will like finish out the bottle, you all. So. Mm -hmm. That's a bottle, y'all. That's a bottle kill. <laughs> Listen, they go fast. They go right real fast for folks who like to partake. <laughs> That's why I didn't even ask. I was just like, I'm gonna let the, the moderator and the media right, <laughs> see if we're gonna do another glass or that. <laughs> I was like, I was like doo, doo, doo. Oh, see good. how I'm being patient. But you, uh, 2022 <laughs> might do you okay after all. 2021, I don't know that you on. did. Oh, okay. Hold on. You did okay. <laughs> yes, I did good in 2021 and 2020. Yeah, it was just 2019. That 2019 was kind of iffy. 2020 and 2021 now. Okay. Another two. Another two. Toast to 2022, you all. 2022, health, wealth, success, prayer, meditation, yoga, all the things. Because I'm not doing travel, lots of travel. Yes. I don't know. A lot of traveling. In my mind, I want to do yoga, but I don't know what it's going to happen. You know what? Actually, we all should be doing like yoga and stretching and moving the energy through our bodies and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That sounds it's great. Whole, it does. It does. Actually, it helps you with your joints <laughs> and stuff. I want to do these things. I really do. But I just got to be realistic with myself. So I wanted to tell you, your sister girl birthday was the other day, Alicia Keys. And she did it in Vegas, and they were so. I seen them. I cute. seen them. I seen they did it in a few cities. I think they hopped around from city to city in the airplane. Well, I I, mm -hmm. I definitely know she did Vegas. Mm -hmm. I, I know I seen her. She looked she, she looked so, lit at the poker table. Uh -oh. <laughs> she had a good time. <laughs> she did. She was like good. No, she said she yeah. did. But they was, always turn up for their each other's birthday. They go wild. Really? Yeah. They are. So so cute. Yeah, they go hard. They are so cute. Yeah, I those, love her. Those are my beats in my head, y'all. Yeah, I love Swiss beats and Alicia Keys. I like that. Me too. And I'm going to tell you. They look like they're so fun to hang <laughs> out with, too. That part. Right. And this is not to do whatever, but I do want to do this plug right here. For people who think that, like, you know, because everybody knows the controversy. We don't have to get into that. Everybody knows the controversy of how they got together. But I love that they are showing that Sometimes, yeah, the star or the whatever might be a little shaky, or shaky, rocky. a little rough or whatever. But not only are they, but they get along really well with his ex-wife. Well, she yes. confirmed, you know, she the ex-wife confirmed that they weren't together yeah, when, when they, they got together. Yeah. So. And so where the media wanted to paint this picture mm -hmm. and do all of this other foolishness, I love that they are like adulting in a very mature and adult way, and they're a beautiful couple. They they really yeah. is and truly and they, are. They never had one fight. So in the whole entire relationship. So do not you, one argument. So you, it's funny because I had read Swiss Swiss Beats post because I like to travel down these rabbit holes, mm. and he was like, he was giving her all of these like shout outs and accolades, but he was like, shout out to my best friend. 
he said he said shout out you know um and he was giving her all these different titles but it was so beautiful that's what and i was, was like my singer my um it, it, it was mother, my child, my yeah, there, it was it was all the things, and he was like, and my best friend, he was like, or he was like, today, uh, my best friend, and it, it, he just ran down mm -hmm. the list. It was so beautiful. Yeah, I think that's that's what I know. I want, like, I even know that when I was married, um, me and my ex husband, we were really good friends. Mm -hmm. Like, I joke and tell all of my friends, I'll be like, y'all know when y'all used to tell me stuff and tell me, don't tell nobody. The first thing I would do be like, <laughs> and I would tell my husband because number one, I knew it wasn't going anywhere and he didn't really care nothing about this girlfriend talk that I was telling him about. But, but it's I told not him wrong about being able, right. It's not <laughs> wrong with being able to talk to your significant other. No, it's healthy. Like, I love to, it. Right. I don't yeah, think a man should be in for business, but that's another story for another day. Well, so, I think there are boundaries. Right. Okay. So, but okay. it's up to the female to maintain those boundaries Correct. when it comes to you speaking to your man about right. your friendship. Okay. So other yeah. than that, I just, you know. Yeah. Because my husband, my ex-husband, he didn't get into anything. It's not like when I was on the phone, he'd be like, oh, yeah, didn't you tell me in the call? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, he didn't do that. <laughs> you, you stay off the phone now. <laughs> and, you know, that well, he would chime in, but I it wouldn't be about think, business. Yeah. I think if your dude Correct. is doing that, that's a red flag do to me. Like, if you're talking to your girlfriend on the and phone, they and they they ear hustling, yeah, and then uh -huh. they start asking you questions no. about, oh, what was that? No, I'm stay like, off the phone. Wait a minute. Yeah. Why were you in my conversation? Yeah. Correct. You definitely don't do none of that. You got to mm -hmm. stay off the phone. Yeah. If he was to me. say anything, he would chime in on, like, oh, the date for, or this was supposed to happen, or if I left out a detail in a part of a situation that he was Yeah, he of. will update but, you. Yeah, and he will <laughs> correct Crystal. No, Crystal, that is not how that part went. <laughs> That's why I love Devin, because he will always be like, mm -mm. I think I think Devin ear hustles to make sure Crystal is not crystallizing in the story. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll be like, I'm telling you, that's the way it went. And I'd be like, no, that is not <laughs> the way that it went. Right. I was there for that right. one, and it didn't happen like that. Right. Mm -hmm. so did. Right. But, but I think, just like the other day when we were on the phone. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was in my office, and they came. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he went He went in the room and just shut the door. But I not before I was like, I, was, I heard them kissing. I was like, oh, I didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> I mess with Dave all the time because Dave just, I think he think I'm crazy. First of all, he just be like, <laughs> but he's so sweet. He is, and he's a gentleman. He is. That okay, way. so that's that part where he's a gentleman. Like and I he can fry some fish. Now, see, come I'm on, on there for the fish. fish. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. Come yes, on. I did. Yeah. I did. I wasn't there when he got, got the fish, but then I got it second time when I broke my hand. Yeah. Down in yeah, down the stairs. <laughs> it wasn't even a cute story. Like I. I hated that I didn't have like this spectacular story to talk about. You know, y'all, when I broke my ankle, y'all had a clumsy moment where I fell down some stairs. It's just why we don't get started. Broke my ankle in three places. Ooh. And then when your friends don't know and they there, I cannot. All I can do is confirm because I know what I've been through. <laughs> And she was right there, but still didn't know until the next morning that I broke my ankle. So. Mm, interesting. That part. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, second glass in, this is still equally as great. It's very good. Mm -hmm. It's real good. I almost had, wish I had had it on the empty stomach. Um, so I could hit you all. <laughs> no, so that I wouldn't feel full. Uh <laughs> That's the only thing about eating and trying to drink. Well, I don't know, because for me, I think it cuts the food for me. So it I does, don't get, it does unless, really. unless you're drinking beer, and stuff. now that's different, because you know, beer sits in your stomach. I'm not a beer drinker. I don't drink beer, but, but I, I'm liquor, a yeah, liquor or wine, if I'm full and I drink, 
it really cuts my food for it, me. It does for me too, Nicole. Mm -hmm. it, it sits right on top of my food. Does it? Mm -hmm. And I keep getting fuller and so, I feel full, full, full. It, mm -hmm. It's funny. So her and I are are like drinkers, like. But and I want to start drinking more water too. But that's what happens. I can get full off. Did you say you were a drinker? Yes. <laughs> oh. That's what I said. What? Oh, you being cute. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like when you drink. It cuts out your appetite. That's all I'm saying. It will or cut my it, appetite. Or it'll cut down your the food. food. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it I'm don't cut my food, food though. Like y'all say that it don't cut my yeah. food out. Like I'm getting full as we speak. Really? Because normally, you know, I would drink all the wine up on it. Oh, would have slurped it on now. Right. And but time. I'm like coasting because I had food, and now it's just sitting <laughs> on top of the food. That's why I don't like to eat because I want to drink. <laughs> so you're drinking too then. You just got to do it in reverse and opposite. Yeah, there's different levels to yeah, say no, you're a drinker. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I didn't mean it in anything negative. No, I didn't say it was negative. Saying, Let me tell you. It, it just suppresses my appetite. Right. That's all no, it does. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I like to drink first. Was, yeah. And that's if we have eaten. Like, that's if I've eaten already. So, it like, if I. Appetite? No, no, no. So, oh. what I'm saying is, oh, if I would have drank, if I would have drank, on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. no, it. I'll get tipsy quicker, mm -hmm. and you I do. and I'll be and I'll be really really hungry. But if I drink on a full stomach, I'm good because you know liquor or wine it just cuts it, like it cuts it down. Okay, so it's. Suppressing. I ate too much. Let me maybe yeah. I should say this. When I'm drinking, I have to eat just a little just to coat my stomach, mm -hmm. and then I can drink. Yeah, but once I eat a full meal, now I'm I'm full. Right. Mm -hmm. Like to me, when you're saying suppressing your appetite, you're saying that it curves your appetite. Right. It don't right. curve my appetite. Oh, yeah, no. that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying it cuts uh, it cuts the food mine. where I don't I don't I don't keep feeling full. Okay. Um, Eventually, it'll balance out. Okay. See, yeah. it, curves it curves my appetite. It does. It curves my appetite too. Or if I've already eaten, it makes me full. So, but I mean, I, what I can't do is not eat. They all know it's not going to be a good night if I don't eat and I drink. It's not going to be a good night. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Just not good. Just not even good. Just not good. Mm. So, <laughs> don't laugh. Because I already know probably the three, four stories that they're thinking about <laughs> when we bring this up. Because I'm recalling like at least four myself. Were they all at latitude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who sent it around the latitudes? I, right. You don't do like Not, that kind of that. Part. I don't. And you don't you do write a couple of Hold on. Hold on. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you probably write about that. I don't know what's up with me in the coolers. I just love it so much. I love that so hard. <laughs> that Cooper song. I love it too, but I act right <laughs> when I go. Mm -hmm. I act right for the most part. Mm -hmm. first get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, nobody asked you to say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking some things in account. <laughs> So you know what else this would be good with, y'all? Like a fruit platter. Because then you got that cold. Or meat and cheese. You know, yeah. I mean, or meat and cheese, yeah. yeah. This, I mean, this is going to just pair well, well with a lot. Yeah. I would think the only thing maybe not is some pancakes and syrup. But other than that, I'm thinking some eggs and some salmon. Like, I don't know that I can. It's, this it's, is good. It's real good. And it's so smooth. That's what I like about it. Mm. And that 13.5. It's good. We need to wine sample a port. Because, you know, mm. ports are like 18%, but they're like a either you could do a white or a red. Right. Mm -hmm. We had that at the photo shoot, if you don't remember. I mean, we maybe you remember. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> That port was good. That port was really good. And I'm funny about ports. Now, port is when I want to put like tequila or vodka in because they're so sweet. It tastes like medicine to me. I don't think all of them do. Not all of them. Oh, no, okay. no, no, not all. That one, 
which we'll, maybe we'll do a tasting yeah. of those. But that's like the here. teleport. Yeah. yeah. The teleport is thick, but it's yeah. high in alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, 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 so yeah. sometimes I put a little tad bit of Bacardi in it. I do. Just to it's cut the it. thickness and the sweetness. Yeah. That, it's but sweet. that teleport gets you right. It'll, It'll get you right, right. You don't need to add no liquor to it. And you'll be right. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, seriously. If you can mm -hmm. stomach sweet wine, because it's definitely a dessert wine. Mm -hmm. It is a dessert wine. But, you know, I didn't realize that. I thought when they said the dessert wine, that meant that you drink it with a dessert, like when I was in my 20s. But what they're saying mm -hmm. is it's kind of the filler for it. You yeah. don't need a dessert. Yeah. And I was like, so it's I almost had to like, you know, yeah, you don't eat it with your dinner. That's it's, a, like an after, after, after. Yep. So, for it's my, like an after drink. So, mm -hmm. my birthday, I had a rose at a vineyard that I want to take you ladies to. But I didn't have a birthday cake or anything. All I needed was that bottle of rosé because it did me good all day. <laughs> like <laughs> rosé all day. Yes, that was rose like rosé all day. You want to get dessert or no? Mm -mm. Okay. Dessert. My dessert, baby. Yes. Dessert. <laughs> it was, Listen, yeah. it was like you want no cupcake, no cookies, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> the same way you're trying to right. You want dessert, baby. Share this with me. I ain't sharing nothing with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm Drink good on dessert. I, I'm not a dessert person. Y'all not like not a dessert person at all. I like to taste things, but I don't like to eat it. Right. All. I don't eat like, all of it. Yeah. I might I'll taste. Yeah. I'll, I'll taste or, it. One or two bites, and then I'm done. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now I can. Now here's what I can do. I can eat dessert as my meal, but I can't do food and dessert. Yeah, I, I can do. Let me tell you, the people at the Chick Fil A, they knew every day about five thirty, six o'clock. I was coming through to get me a cookies and cream shake with no toppings, and that was my meal in the evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can I mean, do that, but yeah, I can't do food yeah. and, and that. dessert. Yeah, I can't do all of that. It's a whole lot. It is. I'm like sa savoring. That's why this. they say eat your dessert first, then your meal. And if you don't eat all your meal first, mm -hmm. I mean, eat all your meal, you always take that with you and eat it later. That but that's sense. still it too is. much. That's still too much. My dad used to get upset. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's my dad's birthday today. Yeah. Mm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Crystal Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ricky Daddy. <laughs> listen, know, don't tell. Uh -uh, listen, <laughs> no. Don't tell Crystal your dad's birthday. Because she'll try to call him before you. Wait. And she did that last year. And then she didn't begin this year. But y'all have to understand, I'm a very early person. Early. So it was like 7.30. I thought it was like 9.30. I had just told her what time it was. She, she and I were on the phone. And she said something. And I said, oh, it's 7 or whatever. I said, don't call me on the regular morning. Because I was up this morning. So I text her. I was polite. Hey, girl. Are you awake? I said, good morning. Are you awake? <laughs> and so then maybe like 15 minutes later, she said, good morning. I'm awake. So I call her. And, and that was at what time? Like 6.45. Yeah, 6.45. She wasn't and, awake yet? No, yeah. she was uh, up. I, but I think she I must have like, seen her phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I said, as soon as I said good morning when I answered the phone, I said, don't make no habit of calling me at this hour. You know, I'm just, this is an anomaly. <laughs> I don't answer my phone before nine. And then she proceeds to get off the phone with me and call my dad and tell him happy birthday. Then she called me back. Oh, yeah. We'll go for Sunday. The 12. Oh, I got to tell you about that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I've been drinking slow because this is so good. And we, ain't even gonna, we weren't even supposed to be staying on here this long, but so we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Tap out. Tap out. Oh, yeah. Tap, okay, tap, tap out. <laughs> I don't have tears. I know. Oh. Y'all enjoy your day, your oh. evening, whenever y'all catch this um, clip. Mm -hmm. um, join our podcast every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Um, we get back, we hop back on broadcast on Tuesday, February 9th at eight, 9 p.m. Eight, eight. Sorry, February 8th at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And so, look, YouTube folks, you too, say it with me. YouTube. <laughs> Watch us be YouTube. So yeah. We gonna get it popping and percolating. Yes. Right. Search us now and subscribe and Please invite do. your friends and yes. family to subscribe. Mm-hmm.
all of that. Invite your um cool cool tail aunties. aunties. Right. <laughs> and and the cool cat uncles. Mm -hmm. They're gonna like it. They're gonna be like, oh, it's just what the ladies into. Yep. We got some exciting things coming down the pipe. So you gotta tune in to be informed. Correct. So this is what I will say. Earmark these two dates for me. February 22nd and April 16th. More details to come. But earmark those dates. Like carve them out and already say we're gonna be chilling with the ladies of Wanna Wisdom on those two days. Chilling. Okay. So that's all I'm gonna say. So. All righty. Y'all have a good See evening, later. day, morning, all of that good stuff. Bye guys. <laughs> Deuces. Mm -hmm.